Welcome to Carlton's Math Corner. Today we're going to continue our study on ratios. Our target today is I can determine whether ratios are equivalent. Now in our last video we talked about how to simplify a ratio. So in this video we're going to use that knowledge to compare ratios and see if they are equivalent. So for instance if I want to compare girls to boys and then boys to total children, and I want to see if they are equivalent ratios. I would start off by creating my ratios. So let's do girls to boys. So what ratio would you write? Exactly 9 to 12. And then if I want to compare boys to the... So there are 12 boys. And since we are comparing boys to the total number of children, I can actually write the ratio as a fraction because I'm comparing an, uh, an amount, which let's go back because that's girls. We want boys out of the total amount, which is 21. Because if I add 9 plus 12, I get 21. And so we have 12 out of 21 total children. Now remember, there are three different ways to write a ratio. We can write it with the words TO. We can write it with a colon. Or if we're working with total number of something, then we can write it as a fraction. And so either way, we still can simplify and we can determine if they are equivalent or not. And so looking at this, we need to determine is 9 twelfths, or 9 to 12, not 9 twelfths, but 9 to 12, is that simplest, in simplest form, first of all. And if not, we need to simplify it. Well, is there a factor that 9 and 12 share? that could go into both of them. Yes, nine can be divided by three, and so nine divided by three is, or three can go into nine, so nine divided by three is three, and then 12 divided by three is four. And that would be simplest form because the factors of three are just one and three, and one will not change the four, and three does not go in there. And so we are done. How about 12 to 21? Yes, we can divide by three, and so we get four. 12 divided by three is four. And then 21 divided by three is seven. Nice job. And so four to seven. Uh, and if we look at these two ratios, they do not look equivalent. They should look exactly the same when simplified if they're equivalent. And so I would actually give an answer of not equivalent because I have shown proof that these two ratios are not the same. They are not worth the same amount. Let's look at another one. Determine whether the ratios are equivalent, and we need to explain by showing our work. So let's look at 12 out of 20 doctors agree, 6 out of 10 doctors agree. Now notice the wording. Out of means that this was the total number of doctors. So it doesn't have the word T-O in it. It's a different phrase but we're still comparing doctors to doctors. We're just comparing a part of the doctors to the whole amount of doctors. And so we can actually write this ratio in fraction form. And so we could do 12 out of 20. And then the other one, other ratio would be six, oops, six, out of 10. Now if we simplify this, what goes into 12 and 20? Yes, 4 does. And if I divide 12 by 4, I get 3. And if I divide 20 by 4, 
I get 4. Or I'm sorry, 20 by 4, I get 5. And so we have 3 to 5. How about 6 to 10? What could, can we simplify 6 to 10? Yes, we can. Um, what goes into both of them? 2 does. And here's what I want you to notice. When I divide 6 by 2, I get a 3. And then what do I get when I divide 10 by 2? I get 5. Now, that is exactly, do you notice they're exactly the same ratio? 3 out of 5, 3 out of 5. So they are equivalent. And so I would say these two ratios are equivalent, and that would be my answer, and I have work to prove it. Um, how about two DVDs to seven CDs? And notice the wording, it says T-O, so these are ratios, this is not a total. So I can create a ratio of two to seven, and then 10 DVDs to 15 CDs, 10 to 15. And is 2 to 7, is that simplest in simplest form? Yes, it is. How about 10 to 15? No, I can divide both those numbers by 5. So I'm going to take 10 divided by 5 is 2, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now I have a ratio in simplest form. And is that the same ratio as 2 to 7? No. These two are not equivalent, and so I would write not equivalent as my answer. And I have proof to back it up. Now, what I would like for you to do is the following two ticket problems. Will you please compare the fruits and tell me if this ratio is equivalent to this ratio? And then comparing M&Ms. These M&Ms, red and blue, compared to orange and yellow. Please show your work steps to have proof that they're equivalent or not equivalent. Thank you so much for joining me at Carlton's Math Corner, and I look forward to meeting with you.